going to do some tennis ball work today. I think we're ready with tennis balls. We're going to get into the feet and our way up the spine. So if you're feeling like you're a bit tired through the shoulders, stay with me. We are going to work with tennis balls to release from your feet because you've got all these beautiful connections, this network through your feet that connect all the way up to your shoulders, to the crown of your head. So when you release the feet and apply these pressure points, that can help when you're releasing all the way through your hips, through your back, up to the crown of your head. Start with your tennis balls. We're going to place the tennis ball on the floor. Start to pull your weight into your tennis ball and place the tennis ball in the middle part. We'll start with the right foot. Pull your weight onto your right foot. So that can be quite tight sometimes. See how you feel? And start to roll from your heel to your toes. So rolling from your heel all the way through, rolling back and forth, massaging. And you can pull your weight into your heel, starting to release, shifting to the ball of your feet, releasing through your toes, giving a massage. We'll, we'll swap over to the opposite side, place your foot over your tennis, tennis ball, the middle part of your foot, pull your weight in, notice what's going on through your feet. If you're holding your breath, if you can soften and allow your breath to flow, start to roll your tennis ball <clears throat> along your foot. Pull your weight into your heel. Pull your weight into your heel, start to roll into the balls, top of your feet. Surround your toes to massage through your feet, start to roll back and forth. Release your tennis ball. We are going to start to bend the knees now. So come onto your knees and flip your toes. So you're tapping your toes here and allow each toe from your, your baby toe all the way to your big toe on both sides to be untucked and connected in with your floor. Roll through your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, can you soften through the, through the belly, in this pose, through the shoulders, through the face, open and close your mouth a few times. Sometimes we can hold in the jaw and grip the teeth. Deep breath in for exhale. Smooth inhale. Smooth exhale. Deep breath in. Big sigh out. Start to flip onto your shins. That can help to release through your muscles around your shins. You can stay here or bring your palms beside your ankles, starting to lift your knees off the mat. See how you feel. It is a different shape to what we usually do. We don't always get into this shape every day. I don't. Start to lower gently. And you find your range of movement in all of these poses, not looking for sharp sensations, more for a stretch, there is resistance without straying into that area where the muscle is really taut and you feel like you're forcing a pose. So there is effort and think of allowing. It is a delicate balance. That's where the benefit lies in the stretch. So that's releasing through your heels, through your feet, through your shins. We are going to get into the glutes now. Start to lie on your back and take your two tennis balls. You're going to place the tennis balls on either side of your glute, the middle part, belly of your glute, each glute. So your glute is your, your booty. Okay, so middle part on each side. Start to shift yourself forward, line yourself, lying down on the mat, 
take a tennis ball, lift your feet, placing your weight on the tennis ball. Just taking your time here to windscreen wiping your knees from side to side. You can have your palms on your belly or arms out um, into a T-shape. Deep breath in. Full exhale. Notice if that feels good there. Or if you would like to have one leg long on the mat or both legs. That can be quite strong if you don't regularly stretch through your glutes. So to bend through your knees, lift through your hips, we're going to start to move the tennis ball up to either side of your spine. On the either side of your spine, at the base of your spine, start to roll yourself back onto your back, knees towards the ceiling to begin with. Start to move your knees from side to side. Start to lift through your hips and move your tennis balls further up the middle part of your back. So I'll show you here. We move from our glutes up to the base on either side of the spine and now we're moving up to the middle part of the, of the back. And you're not putting the tennis balls where your spinal cord is, it's on either side of the spine. Taking a deep breath in, full exhale, smooth inhale, smooth exhale, smooth inhale, smooth exhale, you're doing great. Exhale, start to lift your tennis ball up to the top of your spine, closing them up and lower yourself onto your tennis balls. Just taking your arms out into your T-shape. You can also bring your arm up towards the ceiling. Take your right arm out. Notice what happens to your back when you start to move your arms and create circles with your arms. That may feel good for you, or you may prefer stillness and have your arms resting on the side of the mat or having your legs long. The beauty of this practice is that you're always adjusting based on how you feel and what's coming up in your body and finding the most supportive and nourishing shape for you. That's something that teachers cannot guide you into. That is about you connecting in with yourself and what feels good for your body and using your own intuition, your own uh, wisdom within your body. From, your, from the upper part of your spine, start to move your hands forward further up on either side of your neck. Starting to lower your body weight onto your tennis balls. Again, extending your arms on the ceiling. You can also take your arms away, up and away from you, or arms out to the side. So you choose and adjust what feels good for your arms and also for your legs. Same for deep breath in, full exhale, smooth inhale, smooth exhale, smooth inhale, smooth exhale. So that's it, that's a release for your feet. 
all the way up to your shins, your glutes, your spine, up to your back. I have taken you through very quick breathing exercises uh, in terms of the count for each time we were in each shape, each pose. However, you can stay for as long as feels good for you. So if you want to stay for five or 10 breaths, make sure that you do that so that you can really get the benefit based on what your body needs. Thank you so much for staying with me for yin release. So nice to practice together. Take care, namaste.